Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a full face of drugstore makeup because I do have a few new things and just some things that I want to revisit and I feel like I often, well most of my videos are more like with high-end makeup but I feel like drugstore makeup is getting pretty good although I still can't get some of it because the drugstore makeup in Canada is just not at the same level as it is in the States but I was excited to find something that you'll see um, when I stop rambling so let me just get started um, so the first thing I wanted to do was I have two primers here so this one is like one that everybody has been talking about and since um, well, let me just tell you what it is. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So this is the original. And I believe now there's like all different kinds. There's like one for acne prone skin, one for like illuminating, but this is just like the regular one. And people compare this to the Tatcha... I don't even know what it's called like a silk primer or something like that. Um, I have used this, I think, once or twice. But really, I just bought this to see what the hype was about. And I don't really use, like, pore-filling primers often because my skin is so dry that, like, I barely have pores <laughs> to begin with. Although, like, um, in this area, I have noticed, like, my pores do kind of looked a little accentuated lately so I am going to use this today just on like this area um, but I do have another primer to use on the rest of my face but I'm going to go in with this first and I did get this brush so this is the putty primer applicator so there is a brush specifically for this primer which I'm excited about. I know like most people say like never get brushes that are meant to go with things because it's just like a cash grab but I really like trying different brushes and this one just looked really fun. It, I actually have a brush similar to this. It's um, from Tarte because they used to have that foundation in a pot that's in my project pan so you know what I'm talking about if you watch my other videos but it's pretty much the same idea it has like a scoop on the end um so yeah I thought it was interesting like they're telling you to basically apply this primer with a brush and that does intrigue me because I want to see what that does so yeah let me just get some out so I'm just gonna try this much this is a primer that like I don't want to use a lot of either because I don't want it to start like pilling. Maybe I could put some here too to see what that does. And it is really soft. Oh, that was like super easy. I just like kind of like the idea of applying this kind of primer with a brush instead of your fingers so that like it kind of like I don't know spreads more easily I guess that was really easy so I just put like a small amount I don't really like I don't see a difference right now but when I put my product on maybe I'll put a bit on my nose also I feel like this brush would be good for like any cream product because um, it's just like really nice and soft but still like has enough bristles so that it kind of works with creams. Um, by the way my nose is like peeling and red and like super dry because I had like an allergy attack the other day. So I was blowing my nose so much that I like peeled the skin off so that's good just, just ignore that 
Maybe I'll put some on my chin also. <laughs> I guess I am kind of putting this everywhere. I just really like this brush, I think. So that's about like all the places where I'd want to blur my pores. Oh, and this has a shade, Universal Sheer, if you are wondering. Um, but the other primer I have is this like OG uh, NYX primer, the Angel Veil. Apparently I used a lot of this. It's like down to here, but I don't <laughs> remember anything about it. I do believe this is like one of the first primers I bought when I started getting into makeup. Um, but again, this isn't really a primer that I would be like, drawn to these days because this is another like smoothing primer. It's called a skin perfecting primer. It's oil free. What does it say? It just says treat your skin to this ultra velvety oil free primer. Feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. So yeah, there's a lot of like silicones in this primer. If I remember, yeah, there is. I'm looking at the ingredients. But yeah, I don't really remember how I feel about this. So I'm gonna try it. Because everybody is like raving about the other primer from NYX. Let's get it out of power. This one, the NYX, the marshmallow primer. This one is like the new one that everyone's talking about. But I was like, hey, remember it? the angel veil because everyone used to talk about this one so I kind of want to see if I like this so it's like this kind of texture yeah you can like even just see that it's going to be a very silicone-y feeling primer just from the way the texture is so I'm going to put this oh in my hair apparently <laughs> Just like kind of everywhere else where I didn't put the elf one. Well, I, that's what I'm trying to do at least, but yeah, that feels like very smooth. So we'll see how my other products go on top. So for my foundation, this one is just, I just know I like this one, so I wanted to use it. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the dewy version. I've actually never tried the um, the regular one, but apparently people like that too. I just usually just go for things that say dewy because of, again, my dry skin. So... Why is my hair getting into everything today? I forgot to wet my sponge like a fool. Actually, it's pretty damp because I just washed it. So, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I was like, maybe I'll just use a brush for a second. But then, because I put all these like um, pore filling kind of primers, I'm too... I think you were too zoomed in there. Yeah, because I put um, all these pore filling kind of primers on, I don't want to use a brush and like disrupt all of that, you know? This shade is too light for me right now. Which shade is this? Soft Ivory. Yeah. But so far it looks good. It's going over the primers nicely. My nose is just not gonna be helped by anything right now because it's peeling, but just gonna ignore that. Wow, that's very light for me. Uh, I, <laughs> I think when I was using that, it was when I didn't have any sun. I mean, it looks horrible here. <laughs> but again, that's on me. Maybe I should have exfoliated before filming this video, but I don't know. 
I mean, at least it does match my neck because like I never get sun there. So it doesn't look too crazy. Anyway. <laughs> I need to put some lip balm on. This is just the Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm. It's in my project pan. Oh, I did pull out a cream blush, so I won't um, do my bronzer or highlighter yet. Uh, I wanted to revisit this Maybelline Cheek Heat um, because these came out like pretty early in the cream blush trend and I don't remember how I feel about this. I do know it's very sheer, like it even says though, like sheer gel cream blush. So they're not like saying it's going to be super pigmented or anything like that. Um, but let me try this. This is the shade Coral Ember. And I don't really remember how much to use, so I'm gonna go with that. Oh yeah, it. I remember like the texture is very much like a gel. And yeah, it's very strange at first. I think I'm gonna put it on like this, like just make fingers for now and then maybe go over it with my sponge I like the color of it I don't know how I feel about this I kind of feel like it lifted my foundation Um, I don't know. Like, what is this? That's my skin underneath. So, yeah, I think my foundation kind of got lifted. It didn't really like to mesh with the formula. Let's just see if I can layer some more. This product is weird because of the texture. Like, you have to kind of put it down with your fingers or else it's just not going to spread. I think this might be something I would like better without any foundation underneath. Which is actually how I've been doing my makeup lately. But I just wanted to, you know do a full face today, but I have been not wearing foundation because, well, for one thing, it's been a heat wave. It just ended like yesterday <laughs> and it was like torture because I don't have AC and yeah, it was pretty bad and I just like did not want to put anything on my face. Like even my skincare was like melting off my face. It was not a good time. That's why I haven't filmed much lately, <laughs> if anyone cares. Um, but yeah, this formula, I just feel like it would be better on like a no makeup day. I'm like, what is happening here? That looks like I didn't blend the uh, like pigment out, but that's my skin. That's all red and blotchy. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, just ignore that, I guess. Maybe it'll go down. So yeah, this product, I don't think I'll use again on a foundation face. Maybe like a tinted moisturizer, I don't know. But definitely not a foundation. Right, I think that's all the cream products. Yes, yeah. So for bronzer, I don't really have anything new, but I'm not really like, in the market for a new bronzer anyway. So I just pulled out my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Just like I know that I like it. Plus it's in my project pan. Maybe this will fix some <laughs> issues. Oh, so just like to mention about these. 
They came out with all those new ones that look really cute, like they're like dessert themed. Yeah, those aren't available in Canada, so I guess I'm out of luck. But yeah, we'll just keep using my broken one. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever hit pan on this because it's so like hardly pressed, but I am making um, the pattern go away, at least if you look at it head on. So there's that. And I do like the shade of this. It's just very light. Like in the summer, well, it's technically still summer, but I refuse. I am totally in fall mode now. Like I'm burning my pumpkin spice candle. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, in the summer, this is just not enough for me like I want something that's gonna make me look more like sun-kissed and like glowy and this is more like a neutral bronzer I feel but then this is something I want to use in the summer because just because of like I don't know it's like tropical packaging theme and like the coconut scent but it is something I like better in the winter months the shade range at least the shade of it at least oh i also pulled out this blush i might put this on too because i feel like that did nothing this all it did was lift my foundation like i don't even see the color on my face so i don't know about that um, but this blush I know I like. It's the Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon. So it's like a warm, this kind of shade. <laughs> I think I wanna put just a bit of that on top. I couldn't find my blush brush because I washed it and it's white again. Uh, this is just the one I use all the time, the BH 110. Um, and I, if I remember correctly, this is very powdery, so I'm just going to tap very gently. Yeah, there's so much kick up, if you can see that. Look how pigmented that is compared to the Maybelline. I think I'm going to pass that on actually, the Maybelline blush, because I have so many cream blushes that I like better and that are quite, like they're more expensive obviously because they're not drugstore and I should use them before they expire. <laughs> but this blush, I just, yeah, I love this shade plus it adds some warmth to my like pale skin i could almost use this as a bronzer yeah that's way better i still have this blotchiness here which i don't know what that is and then for highlight i wanted to pull out one of my favorites like overall not just drugstore it's from this flower beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. I've mentioned this on my channel before. This highlighter is amazing. Um, unfortunately, the contour shade is broken. I didn't actually pan that, <laughs> if you're wondering. It just like totally crumbled and fell out. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this highlighter today. I'm gonna use this fan brush because I feel like um, it's gonna look really intense if I don't. <laughs> See? This is like, yeah, definitely one of, if not my favorite powder highlighter in my whole collection. It's just so smooth. And I do really like the shade. It's not too icy. Like it has a little champagne, but not so much that it has like a gold um, undertone, which is like my issue with my Becca highlighters. 
they're all kind of too deep for me. Even in the summer, I feel like I have to be very gentle with them. But this one is really nice. Okay, that's enough highlighter. Um, but yeah, like see how smooth that is? That is like comparable to my high-end highlighters or even better to be honest. So I really love that. I hope it's still available. I don't know what's going on with Flower Beauty. I feel like it's becoming more and more difficult to find them. Uh, I know in Canada the only place you can get it is on well.ca but they don't seem to get like the new products. At least not like when they first come out so I don't know. I just really like that highlighter though. I think I'm gonna apply my setting spray now. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. Um, they have a bunch of these. There is just like the regular Photo Focus spray, but I really like anything that has coconut, so I'm gonna use this. really like big mister on that like it <laughs> covered my whole face um i got it in my eye pretty much and there's a little spot here so i'm just gonna go over that so the star of the video and what i was really um surprised that i could find at the canadian drugstore is the new elf palette this is the electric mood and Tiana Major 9. Um, so this is a collab, which I didn't realize from watching other people's videos. I don't know if they didn't mention it, but it says like her name right here and here. So I don't know who that is, but uh, she made a really nice palette. <laughs> I love these colors. This is like a really fun, um, like, summer palette but also you could bring it into fall with these like deeper matte shades and tiana major does have dark skin so it makes sense like um that these shades do lean more deep there's no like cream shade like a matte cream shade or like a really light inner corner but i won't fault that in this palette because I know the creator is dark skin so it totally makes sense and it's great to have more inclusivity at the drugstore especially so yeah I'm just gonna do a look with this today there's so many like different ways you can go with this <laughs> but I think what I want to do is stick to this these four shades here I think that might be fun I just did a blue look so even though this shade looks really fun but yeah I'm gonna go with that and there I'm really impressed that this palette has all different textures also um, like there's some that look really sparkly some are like more flaky and I believe I don't know if it's just these two but there are duochromes in this palette which is like amazing for elf and for a drugstore so yeah i'm pretty impressed with this already even though i haven't tried it yet <laughs> i think what i'm gonna do yeah because there's no cream shade i'm just gonna go right in with the transition but actually i need to use my primer just because now i use my primer with all my looks so it just makes sense like if I'm gonna test something that I'll test it the same way as I normally do. This is just my Urban Decay primer potion. Although I do know there are really good primers at the drugstore. Eye primers I mean. The Milani one is supposed to be really good. I just don't feel the need to try new primers new eye primers because it's such like a it's just a step that I don't care about like I just do it because I want my eyeshadow to last longer 
<laughs> I guess. Uh, even though I don't go anywhere. But yeah, that being said, I just feel like you don't need that Urban Decay one. It's just the one that I have. So what I'm going to do is take like a fluffy brush and go in with the shade Yellow Tie. This like mustardy yellow shade. Oh, that's more yellow than I thought it would be. Oh, that looks really bright actually. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a mustardy yellow based on what it looks like in the pan, but it comes off like a true yellow. Interesting. And um, there is not a lot of kick up in these shadows. Ooh. I was not expecting that shade of yellow, but I'm okay with it. So then for the crease, I wanna go in with the shade Central Line, this shade here. Looks like this. really pretty. It's kind of like a reddish. It's like pink but leaning red. It blended super easily. And just to like deepen the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Browning. I thought this was a purple but now that I read the shade name. Is this a brown? Oh, maybe this is a brown, like a cool tone brown. Yeah, that's not purple at all. I don't know why I thought that, but I think that'll still be, that'll still be okay for this look. That shade had more kick up than the other ones. Not that I mind. So I'm just trying to focus this shade on the outer corner specifically. Yes, that's what I wanted that to do. But I kind of want to go back in with just a bit of the yellow. Because I lost some of that. So for the lid, I want to go in with the shade Shy. This like pink. It looks like it might have a shift. Let me... Oh, that looks really pretty. Yeah, this is definitely... I don't know if you can see. It has kind of like a gold shift or like a champagne. It looks really um, I think I'm just gonna put that with my, well, I'll put it down with my finger and then we'll see. <gasps> Ooh, that's so pretty. There's so much like dimension to that shade. Yeah, then I'm gonna go in with like a flat brush, um, just to like kind of move it around to where I want it. Wow, I was not expecting that. I thought only like those, the shades that have like the shift in them, like this is called pink shift, but it's obviously purple. And this is called Turquoise Shift, so I thought those were like the duochromes, but even this one has like a lot of different dimension. I really like that. I think I want to leave it at that for the top. And I just remembered I didn't put concealer on. I think because I haven't been wearing concealer, like I've only been wearing my um, my Tatcha Luminous Pearl that I totally forgot about that step. <laughs> I 
I do have some drugstore concealers though. I just want to use a small amount of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer because this is a very thick concealer and I don't want to mess anything up. That's like all I want to put. Um, just because like um, I have some kind of purpleness there in the inner corner. Yeah, that just helped to like brighten it up a bit. I don't know guys, I actually did buy a new concealer, which I'll mention in like another video, um, because I don't feel like I like any of my concealers and that's another reason why I just don't wear them because I always feel like they're either like too dry or too thick or not enough coverage like I don't have a concealer th I don't have a concealer that I can just put on and I like it so yeah I that's why I bought another one even though I didn't I shouldn't have but yeah I do like this one but I have to use a very small amount of it um, because like I said I find it a bit too like thick for my under eye but yeah I think it looks good so yeah, I did that because I want to do the bottom and then I'll do the other eye and everything off camera as usual. I kind of want to do on the bottom the same that I did on the top. So I'll just start out with the yellow. And then the like kind of I don't know what to call this shade I want to say cranberry but it's not deep enough it's more like leaning pink and I'm just kind of like winging it out so that it connects with the shadows on the lid I'm just using the same brush too because it doesn't really matter if all the colors kind of blend together. Um, so with that deep like cool tone brown, I'm just going to go on the very like outer corner. And then I will switch my brush to go in with the um, the shade shy so the one I put on my lid because I do want to put that like in the center I don't know how um, I don't know if I should use this brush because oh yeah it's okay I just I wasn't sure how that shade was going to pick up with a brush because it feels like very it almost feels like dry in the pan but it goes on smooth, so. But I do think, yeah, if you use like a fluffy brush, definitely you'll get glitter um, everywhere. Cause it's not like a silicone feeling texture, like a lot of shimmers are. That looks really pretty. I'm really happy with this. The only thing is for me personally, the way I do my makeup, I always go in with like a light tone shimmer for the inner corner and there is really no shade like that in this palette but like I said I don't think that's a bad thing because obviously this is a collab the person made it for hopefully shadows that they would wear <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just go in with my highlighter that I use for my face which is what I do with like any palette. I might do that too. Like if there's no if there's no shimmer light enough, I'll just go in with the highlighter that I used on my face to like tie everything together. It's <laughs> this highlighter is so pigmented. Like it's almost too much. I'm just gonna put a bit on my brow bone also. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I feel like it's getting 
so dark in here because it's like super cloudy out um hopefully you can still see oh my god look at that that is just flaking skin don't pay attention to that um but i thought i would come back on to do everything else because i am going to use all drugstore products for my mascara and brows anyway so I'm still using this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Base, this primer, um, because it's still like working fine and I like what it does. It kind of gives, yeah, it gives more volume, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, and I kind of feel like it makes my mascara stay on better. Like it doesn't, my mascara doesn't like smudge or flake when I use this. I don't even know if that's a claim of this product, but it has helped me. So I just put on like a thin layer and then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Sky High, which I'm still also liking. I just like how it spreads my lashes out and it does give a lot of length so I've been happy with this too and the formula is still very like wet so if you were wondering if the formula is just like that or if it dries out like the longer you have it open I feel like it stays pretty wet so if you don't like that maybe you won't like this mascara but I don't know it doesn't bother me because I don't know if mascaras don't flake or smudge I'm pretty much gonna like it I don't I'm not very picky with my mascara um, it just has to like lengthen and not smudge and not like <laughs> that's all I ask this mascara like can get pretty crazy if you keep building it up though like some of my lashes <laughs> are like super long like almost touching my eyebrow there but whatever and then on the bottom I'm still always using my wet n wild mega length because it's great for lower lash mascara because again it doesn't smudge or flake and it's not too wet so it doesn't like make a big mess that I have to fix later so that's the mascara and for my brows I'm still trying to use up my essence make me brow this is the shade 3 oh but I did get, I do have something I want to use also. So should I put this on first? So actually, um, this is another product that I really wanted to use for this video. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I've actually been using this a lot and I brought it on my trip when I went to Ontario. And everyone asked me about my brows. They're like, oh, did you like um, get them tinted? I'm like, no, it's just like this brow pen. Um, and I've really been liking this. And I really like the shade. I got the shade Ash Brown because I've mentioned this before. I hate when my brows look warm. It just doesn't like go with my face, I feel. And it doesn't match my hair. But they are kind of warm, like naturally so i try to like deepen them so this shade really works for that and this i feel like this product is like foolproof like you can't mess it up i know it sounds kind of scary because it's a pen and people think like oh you're gonna draw your brows on but it's really not like that and it's not like super pigmented but it does build up really nicely so this is the tip it's super fine and if i do this like you can even see like what's that gonna do it's barely there 
but for some reason it works so <laughs> I'll just show you what I do. So I just kind of like, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I just flick it upwards at the front. And if you get anything like summer, you don't want it, you can just wipe it off. And it's just like really good. So I kind of like draw some hairs on but again, it doesn't look like I drew them on because you can barely see it, but it adds color. And then in the rest, I just kind of do light strokes all the way through and maybe like some longer ones towards the end here. And like, of course, the more you the more color you put, the darker it's gonna get. But do you see how easy that was? And like, look at the difference. Like, this brow looks so much more full compared to this one. And I just like ran this through a few times. So this is like a must, I feel. <laughs> if you're looking for a brow product at the drugstore, like just get this one. Um, of course, if you want like something to like hold them, um, you would need another product because this is just like a color product, but I really like it a lot. Why did I only do one? <laughs> Let me do the other one. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's so easy. And people say this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Brow Blade. But that this one is even better. Yeah, if you like the brow blade, I mean, this is probably like half the price or even less. So sometimes I might just leave it like that. Um, but as I was saying, I also have the Essence Make Me Brow that I'm trying to use up. And the shade of this is a bit lighter, so Um, but if you want to give even more fullness and like some more fibers to your brows, this one is good too. I just would have liked to have this in a deeper shade. See? That... Like, that was so easy, but it looks like I have totally new brows on. So, yeah, this product, really good. This one I'm just using to use up. I don't know if it's necessarily better than the Benefit... I don't remember what that's called, but this is supposed to be the dupe for the Benefit one. Um, I don't know which one I like better. But I mean, this does the job also, and this is super um, affordable. So that is the brows on. I think that's it, yeah. So we'll do the lips. We'll just zoom you out. Don't look at my boxes. So for the lips, I have a few options. Um, I did pick this up a long time ago and never used it. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Um, with hyaluronic acid. This is the shade Amber. So people say this is like the Fenty gloss. I'm not sure if that's like a, a formula comparison or if they're just talking about like the applicator and things like that. But I also have two lipsticks. This one this might be like my favorite lipstick in my collection and it's like the cheapest one so there's that. This is the Wet n Wild, um, what were these called again? I don't remember, it doesn't say on here. But this is the shade Close Off. So I think they have like black ones which are matte and these ones are like the cream lipsticks. Um, the ones that have the lips on it. Here, these are really good, but I've used that in like 
a few other videos. I also have a NYX Pin Up Out lipstick in the shade Corset. I remember also really liking this one. So those are my lipsticks. Maybe I'll just try like a bunch of things. And I did pick up this Wet n Wild gel lip liner because I heard these are really good. And this was like less than $5. I got this shade Bear to Comment because it was the only one that was like a brown leaning like all the other ones that were in stock were very like pink and red and I don't need any more pink and red lip liners. I want more like contour colors so I thought I'd pick this one up. This might go really nicely with the lip gloss. Ooh, looks like that. Still kind of leaning pink that, um, that lip liner. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use the lip liner first. So, yeah, this is a gel lip liner. It feels really nice. It's really fine, which I like, if you can see that. I was not expecting this color, though, like, based on the packaging. It looks like a more like reddish brown shade but it's quite pink still just a bit more neutral so then i want to go in with the nyx lipstick so that's what it looks like the swatch i think it will go well with this liner these are so creamy Ooh. I really like that shade. I know I used this before, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, really nice lipstick at the drugstore. But I do really want to try the gloss. I'm almost done. Those are fun. What do you want? Do you have, like, do you use those speakers? Yeah, all the time. Oh, do you have an extra pair? No. Yeah, I really want to use this gloss though too, just because it's been sitting there and waiting for me to use it. So let me put this on top, even though I've already put two <laughs> lip products on. Mm. That is really nice. And I actually don't I don't find it's like the Fenty Gloss. I find this is a lot more lightweight. The Fenty Gloss Bombs are pretty thick, but I like that because they stay on. This one feels more lightweight, but um, still really nice and not sticky. And I love the color of that. I don't know about the smell though. What is that smell? It smells like a liqueur. I don't know which one, but yeah, I like the Fenty smell better, but yeah, that was the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Really nice. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm, I'm just gonna go in with like one more or two more <laughs> spritzes of my Wet n Wild setting spray just because my nose is so dry and flaky and it feels nice and refreshing so but yeah I think that's it so that is my full face of drugstore makeup um, and some like comparisons to high-end products was it I don't I don't know I didn't really compare them to high-end. I just feel like 
these are products that behave like high-end if you know what i mean so yeah even though the drugstore prices keep going up and up i feel <laughs> they are kind of redeeming themselves in that they are improving on like formulas and stuff and making products that people want to like they're making the same kind of products that high-end brands are making so that's pretty exciting the only thing that was kind of a fail today was the Maybelline cheek heat um yeah I just felt like it lifted my foundation but I kind of want to keep it I don't know what I should do with this let me know what you think um because I did really like the color and I think it would look nice with like a no makeup makeup look. Whatever. So yeah, that's the video for today. I love the eyeshadow. This looks like a high-end palette that I would have got like at Sephora. Um, yeah, so I'm really impressed with that. And I will keep using it in the fall. Um, well, if it goes into my rotation, because you guys know like I do. I shot my stash and everything, which I have to update now that summer is over. Yes, I'm saying it. It's over and I'm over it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you found it helpful. I will try to link everything below. It's a bit difficult to find links for drugstore products sometimes, but it should be down there. If not, just let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, before it gets too dark, I will just close this video. <laughs> so yeah, give it a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!